Okay, hi student, welcome to Learn to Trade with Dr. Kim. I'm your instructor for this course. You can uh, reach out to me via WhatsApp or Gmail. What will you learn in this course? Right, in the trading setup section, you will learn rules of trading. What to expect, not to expect when trading. This is to prepare you some trading mental guidelines. Build proper trading attitude. So that you know how to handle your winnings and losers correctly. In this lesson, create a uh, create legit trading accounts. I will show you how to create legit trading platforms, so that you know which one are the safe ones to trade, and the differences uh, of these trading platforms. Okay, because these trading platforms they have some rules, which are very different. Um, and then uh, you will come to this protect yourself from scam exchanges lesson here I will show you fake exchanges unsafe exchanges right that are prone to be hacked or so on okay so that you know what to avoid and how to avoid being scammed and uh, this topic is very important because uh, when you are ready to trade right you will need to deposit USDT into crypto trading platform if you are trading crypto if you are trading stocks then you need to deposit cash money into the trading platform and you may also want to withdraw them and convert to hard cash in your bank okay so uh and this lesson i will show you how you can correctly key in your orders to trade and in an overview of investment trading and trading section you will learn all this right here i will explain how the bulls bulls means the buyer bears means the seller right how these bulls and bears how they work in the market so that you can understand their mindset. Once you understand their mindset, it can help you to win trades. Uh, and most important is this lesson. Okay, this lesson will cover how to use TradingView software. This software is free of charge. Okay, and it's very very important tools because you will need this trading software to help you analyze your charts. And I will show you how to use it correctly. Okay, and then we will come to the price action strategy section, right? We will learn how to choose correct time frame. Now, a lot of traders, they don't know how to choose correct time frame to trade. Right, that's why sometimes um, this can cause error judgment. So there are correct ways to choose the correct time frame. And I'll explain how you can use this time frame correctly do your analysis. Uh, and you will learn the trend lines, the Japanese candlestick, the support resistance, the confluence zone, and so on. And what are all these? Now, these are very, very, very important techniques when analyzing trades. I'll show you the manual way to do it, and I'll also show you some automatic way to do it. And a big part of trading psychology will need all this. Okay, you can not know some of the indicators, but you must know time frame trend line candlesticks support resistance and confidence zones this one you can escape okay so you have to make sure you learn this very 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 well in the correct manner right so in the candlestick pattern section right you learn all these commonly must know type of candlesticks okay i will also show you some uh, tricks uh, if without these candlesticks how can you still read the Candlesticks, okay. Uh, but importantly, go through all this with me, right? Because there are stories within candlesticks, right? Every candlestick there is a story. A range of candlesticks also have stories, okay? I will, I will and I will show you how the market move with these candlesticks, so they can make better decision when trading. And including all these charts pattern including all these indicators i will also show you on these on how you can use it to help you trade better right how means means how to increase your winning rates with these knowledge okay you add on confidence these are like adding on reconfirmation for yourself so anyhow everything taught here are what professional traders know and they learned and you should know and learn And then uh, finally, the last section, I will cover my, my own trading methodology. Okay, I will show you how you can 
manually automatically get ready for buy and sell signal how do you know that it's time you can enter or not to enter right and then i will show you how you can plan your entry exit stop loss manually and automatic ways now when i'm going through all this i will also explain the entry okay when i'm doing this right and even the candlesticks i will also explain the entry along the way i will also explain the entry exit and stop loss then i will show you my favorite trading strategy okay and i will show you how i incorporate chinese middle physics into this trading strategy all right now this one if you learn you can increase your chance of winning especially when you're unsure or you want more confident then you can add on the chinese middle physics okay and finally we'll have a zoom session in this session if you want to trade with me i'll explain to you right how you can trade with me there are some conditions follow if you want to trade with me right Okay, so this disclaimer, uh, this is not financial advice. This course is not financial advice. It's just purely sharing my knowledge with you at my very best. Still need to do some research after learning from me. Right, it's just that after learning from me, it's easier for you to do your own research. Okay, and remember, invest at your own risk. I'm not responsible for your profit and loss. Okay, and I'm not a certified financial advisor. Okay, I'm just a trading person i'm not full-time trading also but i have vast knowledge on trading psychology so i share with you okay um yeah so let's begin the lesson right so in today's lesson lesson one i want to talk about the rules of trading okay so there are rules that you must follow okay you must adjust your mindset winning mindset importantly is winning mindset okay so rule number one invest at what you can afford to lose this one is very important right so before you invest you put your money into the platform you must ask yourself can you sleep after placing your trade orders but if you can't after you place a trade order you can't sleep you're so worried that you're going to lose that money then that means you are not trading correctly already okay so you have to make sure that whether you win once you place an order if you win good you celebrate if you lose good you still celebrate okay you have to make sure you can sleep peacefully and remember uh, do not borrow money to trade i know some people they gather a lot of money from don't know relatives and so on they gather one whole big pile of money and they try to trade and most of the time they lose those money so do not trade someone else money okay now it's okay to start small right teacher i only have fifty dollars hundred dollars then you start with fifty dollars or hundred dollars and slowly build your winning trades okay now rule number two be prepared be prepared to lose money okay why because nothing is 100 percent. even technical analysis all these candlesticks chart pattern whatever that you learn indicators right there is no hundred percent of winning okay but you can increase your winning rates right like with technical analysis if you just learn technical analysis right 100 trades you can have a chance of winning 65 times to 70 times Right, so you may lose 30 times to win 70 times with technical analysis right and if you include chinese middle physics you may even increase it up to 80 percent right so if you invest 10 times you can win eight times you may lose two times three times two times okay so and importantly you must know even professional traders they lose money why because someone win is someone lose right if you win money, means someone lose money. Okay, that is all about trading, winning and losing. So even professional traders, whales, institution banks, and so on, they also will lose money. Okay, so how learn to take profit and run? You must learn to take profits. Okay, like 
my Luna experience. When I saw it hit $100, I was like, it's really very good price. <laughs> so I take profit and I run. So what happened after that? The price dump, 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 dump all the way to 0 0.000. Right? I took all my money because I think it's very good profit. So I hear some of them who did not take profits. They think that, oh, it, it, it's 100 USDT already. So some of them say, okay, they want to wait for 120, 150, 200 or more. So that is greed, right? So greed can kill you. Right? Not? So take, learn to take profit and run. Right? So even winning less, okay. Right? At least you win. Correct? Not? So because there are many trading opportunities every day, everywhere, every year. So you don't have to worry that, oh, I only earn $100. Right? And I missed the $200. You don't have to worry about this because there are plenty of trading opportunities okay so it's better to be safe than sorry okay I, and i hear many many complaints uh, that they should have should have sold right when bitcoin was sixty five thousand, i hear many of them saying i should have sold at 85 uh, sixty five thousand dollars why because now it's twenty thousand dollars and they bought at twenty eight thousand dollars Right, so they did not learn to take profit and run. So that is wrong. Okay? So if they learn to take profit and run, for example, 65k, they learn to take profit and they run. Now drop to 20k, they can buy more, right? And wait for it to go up. 90k. Then they run again, right? Okay. Um... And you must learn to play stop loss. Now, this one I will teach you in a course how to play stop loss and how to calculate your stop loss. Now, this one is very, very, very important because if you don't play stop loss, your capital will be wiped out. Okay? Because sometimes the charts, for example, you, you plan, okay, now it's 20k. For example, you plan, you'll go up to 25k. Right? So sometimes the, the charts go and you stop loss. Let's say you, you, you stop loss. Or you did not play stop loss. Sometimes the call, the, the 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 chart goes goes up. Or you buying up, right? So sometimes it goes down. So you get pushed out before it goes up. Okay. So you must learn all this in the course, which will be taught. Then there's a risk calculator, right? In most of the platform, in fact, all the platforms, they have this thing called the risk calculator. So I will show you how you can plan well, how to use risk calculator to calculate your risk and your reward. Right? How much will you get if you place this amount? How much will you lose? How much will you win? Okay, so you must know all this before you start all your trading. Alright? And uh, rule number six is greed can kill you. Uh. Remember, greed can kill you. Okay? So you can have nine winning trades. You are so happy you got nine winning trades. Right? But one lost trade due to greed can wipe out all your nine winning trades. Now, this happens very often. Right? I have a student. She play. She trade. Okay? She was very happy. She has been winning nine trades. But she has one sushi trades. And that trade crash all her winnings. Okay? So instead of win, she actually lost additional money on top of the winning. Take note of this, okay? And rule number seven, you cannot trade with emotion. Okay? Today you're feeling depression, right? You're feeling moody, you're feeling angry, right? You're feeling uneasy, right? Now, or you have this fear of losing out. This is called FOMO, fear of missing out. It means, oh, 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 the price is going higher, the price is going higher, right? I have to go in the trade and trade, right? Because you fear of missing out, right? Oh, the price is going down. Oh, I have to quickly buy. If not, it will go even further, whatever it is, fear of missing out. So when you have this kind of emotions with you, then you stop the trade first, okay? Cool yourself down first. <clears throat> So remember, uh, you cannot trade with emotions. Okay? 
you must be very logical. Everything must go according to technical analysis. If you want added help, add in your Chinese middle physics. Rule number eight, be brave. Eight, hey, teacher, I thought you said be careful, right? Don't trade with emotions, right? Not care, not greedy. Learn to take profit, prepare for loss, right? Then, teacher, why you say be brave, right? Be brave means be firm. Like once you analyze, you are very sure you have done all your analysis correctly, right? You go in and trade. Be brave. Do not panic when you see, for example, you buy price going up. And when you see the price down, you get panic. Then you stop your trade. But after you stop your trade, the price actually went up. Right? So be firm. Whatever the decision is, right or wrong, be firm. Okay? But of course, you don't trade when you are confused. You are brave when you are sure when you're confident you have done all your technical analysis okay to be brave be firm all right anyhow we have stop loss right so you don't anyhow panic right because you have planned your trade if you have planned your trade properly right you should be firm you must learn to trust your own judgment okay and let the market correct itself Right, so you have to be patient. You have to learn to wait for your targets. Not only profit entry also, sometimes you have to wait. Okay, if you need to see that a certain candlestick appearing or you need to see certain indicators showing you something, then you wait. Until you see it, then you enter the market. Okay, so you don't anyhow panic. Okay. And uh, wait for the market to make correction. Okay, so you don't change here and change there. Right? Of course, there are times when you can re-enter. Okay? Now, this one is a different topic which will be covered in the lesson. Alright? So, remember, uh, nothing is 100%. So, you always seek confirmation. Right? So, you confirm, reconfirm, re-reconfirm before you make a decision. Enter the trick. So how to confirm, reconfirm, and re-reconfirm, right? All these will be taught in the technical analysis lesson. That means at the following lessons, you will learn all these things. Okay. Now another thing is you must ask yourself, right? After this lesson, sit down, ask yourself, right? Are you comfortable? How much are you comfortable to lose at one trip? Are you comfortable if you lose hundred dollars? Can you can you sleep or not? Can you lose 300? Can you lose 500? Can you lose 1000? So you have to think carefully what's the amount you are comfortable to lose. That means if you lose it, no big deal. You just treat it as, oh, I went out for dinner. I spent away. Something like that. Okay? So ask yourself how much. $10? $50? What is your comfortable losing amount? This one you must know. Alright? So you must learn to do your math. Right, and you have to treat trading like your business. You must have a like accounting book. You have to jot down, okay, how much, which date, what trade, how much, win, lose, win, lose. It's like a business like that. You have to jot it down. You have, must have a journal, right? And then every mistake that you make, right, you have to write down in your journals. You have to keep record, all these records. So you have to treat it like a business like that. Okay? Like you were running your own business. Alright, so for beginners, please start small. Slowly build your confidence. Right? It's okay to be small, to be slow, to be steady. Alright, give yourself time, just like when you're building a business. Right? If you want quick reach scheme, then this trading is not suitable for you because trading is not a quick. Fast money is not. Okay? If you think it is, because you saw the YouTuber say from $10, how I transform it to $100,000, $1 million. Uh, these are all fucking rubbish. Okay? 
So start small, slowly build. Okay, slowly build. So there are no hundred percent winning trades. Now remember, not even professional can can have or achieve hundred percent winning trade. Okay, so learn to aim for fifty percent winning trade. Right. So why are people poor? This one you have to know. Why are people poor? Right. The answer given was lack of learning capability and opportunity. Why? Because researchers they have been investigating why people are rich, why people are poor. Okay. So the researcher re researching for why people are poor, they found that poor people they actually work very long hours. They are very hardworking people. They work very long hours, but with very little salary. Right. And they they further investigate why. So they found that because these people, they lack of special skills or this lack of knowledge. They lack of learning capability and learning opportunity. So where to gain all these special skills, right? Of course, through learning. What, like what you are doing now, right? You are learning. So once you are learning, you increase your opportunity, your chances for being rich. Like Bill Gates, why is he rich? Because he is an expert in the complicated computer hardware and software, right? He spent a lot of time learning computer hardware, software. So he, he's an expert in this field. Right? So why is Warren Buffett rich? Because he's a trading guru. Right? He learns trading when he was 9 years old. Right? right, so they put in a lot of effort to learn okay so now is your chance to be rich through learning okay so give yourself a pat at the back for starting this course okay well done student so that's all for today's lesson thank you for paying attention and i see you in the next lesson